Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to listen to God together. Let's hear from the Bible first of all. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 31. It was by faith that Rahab the prostitute was not destroyed with the people in her city who refused to obey God, for she had given a friendly welcome to the spies. In this chapter, the writer to the Hebrews introduces us to a number of Old Testament heroes of the faith. It isn't anything like a complete list. Hundreds of important characters received no mention at all. And so it's fascinating that he chooses to point the spotlight on the prostitute Rahab. You might have thought that he would choose to skip over her in favour of people with a more respectable line of work. But no, Rahab is commended because of the hospitality that she gave to the Israelite spies when they went to explore the Promised Land. In fact, she went further. She was also willing to lie to the king of Jericho's messengers when they went looking for the spies. What impressed the writer was that Rahab was not swept along by the disobedience of the other residents of Jericho. She was willing to put herself in danger in order to show her commitment to the God of Israel. The focus on Rahab reminds us that the door of faith is open to every kind of person. In Jesus' ministry, he went out of his way to make this clear. He continually shocked his contemporaries by the company that he kept. He was often seen with prostitutes, tax collectors and others with dodgy reputations. For many of the religious leaders, the fact that he spent time with such people was clear proof that he couldn't possibly be the Son of God. He was guilty by association with such people. But Jesus was continually keen to show that he came for everyone, whatever their background and however flagrant their sin. It's a continual challenge to the church today to ensure that the doors are wide open to every kind of person. Only in that way can we stay true to the God who throws open his arms of love to everyone who will come to him in faith. Let me pray with you. Lord God, thank you that your arms are open to everyone in our communities, whatever their background, whatever their failures, whatever their needs. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you.